welcome back to the garden my name's Wendy and this is the story of my garden and you'll see I am sat in my brand new poly house and um, this video is all about how we put the frame up for the poly house and covering the poly house and filling it will be in a separate video um, so yeah this this video is all about putting up the frame for the poly house and um, how we did that and what materials we used and all of that sort of stuff so i hope you enjoy it and i'll see you at the end house build we've demolished the greenhouse yesterday and are clearing the ground and leveling it ready for um, putting up the base for the poly house This is the front elevation of the poly house and as you can see we've got four uprights and two vertical pieces of wood and that is so that um, the front elevation is about a foot higher than the rear elevation so we'll have a slope on the roof to prevent rainwater from collecting. So while uh, husband is finishing building the uh, the structure of the poly house I am over here by the greenhouse sifting soil so what I'm doing is I'm taking soil from over here passing it through a sieve and uh, separating it into large bits and finer soil. So I think what we'll probably do when we put in the beds is the, um, the chunky bits right in the bottom, followed by this finer stuff and then a top layer of compost. angle brackets to hold the uprights in place and just normal corner brackets um, slimmer corner brackets to hold the middle bits Thank you. 
So this is how we look at the end of day three of construction. I'm looking through the doorway now, up towards the roof. Let me just take you inside. You have to imagine the polytunnel cover because it hasn't actually arrived yet. But if we look at the back, And then uh, the sides here. So we're going to have a window here. Obviously braced at the corners. There's a bit more bracing to go on, but it's actually really sturdy. So back round to the door facing up the garden. And then we'll have another window on this side. And then we've got The roof, which you can't really see all that well from here. This is just waiting on the delivery of the uh, polythene for the for the covering, um, and then we'll be pretty much done, and we'll be able to start construction of the raised beds. So we're going to have bed along here and then it'd be like a u-shape i don't quite know if we're going to cut in at the corners here because it's actually quite a reach to get to that far corner but we'll see i'm going to end this week's video here and uh yeah, part two will be along as soon as we've got some of uh, the polytunnel polythene to actually put on. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for visiting the garden and I will see you again soon.